how to fulfill orders on shopify dropshipping hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can get started with order fulfillment on shopify dropshipping so let's get into it now to get started with a order first and foremost you need to set up your checkout a lot of people are trying to set up their store and they never realize that you're actually supposed to create your product checkout so the first thing you want to do is add your payment methods to your website to do that all you have to do is go on to your shopify store this is what your store is going to look like once you're on your store you want to click on settings on the bottom left once you do that you can actually click on checkout over here and from here you can set up your checkout system and once you have set up your checkout system, you will click on payments and you can click on add payment method. Then you can search for any kind of payment method that you want. So let's say you want this, Kana, whatever you want, whatever you're looking for. You will have multiple different uh, checkout options and you just want to select the checkout option that is best for you and your business. Now, once you go on ahead and create your checkout, then you can actually get started with fulfillment. Now, fulfillment is super dependent on what kind of supplier you are using. If your products are imported from Deezus and you're using Deezus, then fulfillment is only going to be one click away. But if your product fulfillment is different, so if you have different suppliers, obviously you're going to have to navigate through that differently. So let's say we go into our orders over here and we have this order over here that I just received. Now, you guys will be able to see, we will have fulfillment in progress written once you actually see the item. And you can see you have collect payment, mark as paid, so on and so forth. So I can just click on mark as paid like this. And just like that, even so, my fulfillment is not, you know, completed. Obviously, it's not completed because I haven't shipped the order. But if you want to complete order fulfillment, you actually have to click on the button of fulfill item and you will have to enter information about tracking and shipping. So this is after you have actually set up your tracking and shipping, which similarly you want to go on ahead, click on the bottom left over here, go into shipping and delivery and you want to set up all of your shipping information. So all of these sections that you offer uh, delivery to you want to add that you can click on manage over here and you can enter all of the countries that you set shipping from all of your standard shipping rates as well as all of the places that you uh you know send out your deliveries and packages now if i have a product like if i create a product directly by myself i don't add any supplier this is just a sample product and i click on save over here we're just going to open up a this little section so this is the product and i just click on it click on buy it now i'm just going to add a little bit in stock so i'm just going to go on ahead and add it in stock so once you have added it you will be able to see where your inventory is stocked obviously if you're using cj dropshipping you want to select that or when you're importing products that is directly selected it is automatically selected if you are using Deezus as your fulfillment service then Deezus will automatically be selected you don't really have to do it manually because you're importing products off of these platforms but if it's a product that you add yourself and you're you are the sole supplier of that product so i can just click on that go into my product section take a look at our sample product that i just created over here and someone purchases that product so let's just put in our own order so you guys can see we just put in our own order and if i go into my orders over here i will be able to see what my product is and the order that i have now what you will see if you are the supplier yourself is that you will have this item called fulfill item obviously if you are the supplier yourself you will have to fulfill the item if you are in direct contact with your suppliers so if you're not using Deezus or aliexpress or cj dropshipping to import your products or to get your products then you will manually have to individually click on fulfill item or you can choose to enable a setting that allows you to fulfill items as soon as the order is placed 
Now, what you want to do for that is just click on fulfill item. Then you will enter the tracking number and the shipping carrier that you provided your uh, package to. And you will just, uh, so you can just click on fulfill item like that. And then the item will be fulfilled. People will get, you know, the product and that is it. So you can click on send invoice if it's a credit card payment or you can collect payment and you can mark them as paid once the product is received. Obviously, if it's a cash on delivery item, then that's when you're going to receive your payment. Now, taking a look at a more nuanced system, which is going to be your drop shipped products. So let's say I go into something like CJ Dropshipping. I'm going to go into Deezus actually, and I'm going to click on open app and let's just take any product. And uh, what you're going to see is that if you uh, use a drop shipped product, so we're just going to link to a drop shipped product. So just opening up our AliExpress, or even this product over here, this is also imported by Adizas. So I'm just going to use this like so. And when you get a order for something that is drop shipped, so for a drop shipped item where you have directly linked your drop shipping supplier, or which might be CJ Dropshipping, AliExpress, whatever it might be, if you've linked it directly onto Shopify, you will be able to see these two buttons. So it is request fulfillment or fulfill item. Now, this depends on how much stock you have in your warehouse. So usually if you're shipping something from China, you want to keep some stock in the United States or wherever you're running your business. And uh, you just ask your supplier and you estimate the number of orders you're gonna get and you keep some stock directly in the native country. And you can just directly click on fulfill item and fulfill it yourself and then Send them the item from your own warehouse but if it's a completely drop shipping if you're housing no product at all then what you want to do is click on request fulfillment over here and directly to the cj drop shipping supplier this message will be sent and you just want to enter your notes the drop shipping supplier will directly get all of the information and you will also get the notify your customer when their order is fulfilled by cj drop shipping icon so you can take this and you can click on print packing slip on the top right as well. And this will generate a automated packing slip for you that your partner can generate, your supplier can generate for you. You can send them to your supplier and they can print it on top. And then you just want to click on send fulfillment request on the bottom right. Now, obviously, this is obviously a fake order. It's very obvious. All the address information, all of that is fake. But for real orders, you will get fulfillment. And you can even uh, establish some form of contact with your supplier to make sure that you get fulfillment prioritized. So this is how you can get started with fulfillment. And once the product has been fulfilled by your supplier, you will get a notification as well. And then you can just go on ahead and keep on proceeding with your business. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.